All right, let's uh, continue with this then. So we've already seen this opening. So again, in this run, um, our goal is going to be to get basically 100% or as close to 100% shot rate as possible while also taking all of the alternate routes through the levels to level up our uh, loggy real good. Shouldn't be too hard. We've done this on stream already, so I'm not too worried about it. The dinosaur. I think it's supposed to be a Kulia, but or as this game translate it translates it, Kuriat. But uh, in Saga, they're just called Kulias. So Lagi was a mutated Kulia, but we have uh, since found out that this urban legend uh, was framing them as as mutant Kulias, but in reality, they were dragons. So one can believe that perhaps they are being told that the mutant Coreas are a bad omen so that the peasants can't revolt by raising dragons. We should get a 100% shot down rate in this level. God, I can't get over how good this game looks. That says the music in this is vintage PS1 era. I love it. It technically, this game came out around the time the PS1 came out, I believe. 1996? Is that right? Or was the PS1 95 as well? Either way, Sega Saturn game. Oh, I love these backdrops so much. They're so beautiful. All right, so here we're going to want to take a left at the fork just to make sure we get on the right path. Or I guess technically the left path. It's going to be up here. Got him. There's gonna be a rider popping out as well as two ships. There he is. And we wanna stay hard to the left here. And it's gonna put us on route two. And here we are, set up for success for the rest of the level. There we go. Bass says, early 3D graphics warm my heart. They warm mine too.
God, this game is, it's, it, it, it's, it's just amazing how much like art direction went into making these games look good and perform well and, you know, every, it's just inspired. It's just inspired stuff. I love it. The music in this game too is just phenomenal. Go. So again, the, the technique for this run really is just going to be a lot of like really strategic uh, reticle placement so that we target enemies at the earliest possible opportunity. Got him. So it looks like Loggy's flying. So we get a more successful uh, glide here than we did in the other run because we took this path. Come on. There we go. Oh, ah. Damn guy hit. Well, there goes the no hit run. So it looks like lasers are shooting up from the ground to get us. Yep. All right, now we gotta kill these guys. Bang. And I believe there's another uh, set of Imperial ships coming somewhere. Yep, all right, just get all these guys. Yep, and then we got this one. Kind of blew that, but that's fine. Don't need to worry about it too much. Oop. Ah. Dead, and you're down too. Oof, we took damage. Oh well, that's fine. We'll be fine. God, this game is beautiful. Wow. Uh, why won't it hit? Uh. That was so bad. I don't know why I was having so much trouble hitting there. That was rough. Thankfully, the, uh, the end boss of this level is not particularly hard, but... And yeah, you can see the uh, you can see the tiling effect on the horizon due to the fact that the the Saturn stores textures as quads. It's cool. It does like a tiling for textures and then warps them based on your perspective. It's one of the reasons why Saturn ports of games that came out on uh, PS1 look so different, uh, even though they are basically the same assets. Uh, the way that the, the Saturn does texture rendering is very different, as well as the way it does 3D rendering, using quads rather than tries, and uh, managing textures that way as well. Alright, we just gotta take this thing out. Just 
drain its health. And once we get it to the kill point, it should be fine. Just take out. Using Berserk, which should be relatively easy. We might need to use it to escape uh, some of the bombardment, but that's fine. There we go. I think this might be it. Uh, no, not quite. Alright, now we're good. Where do I need to aim? There we go. There we go. All right, boss is over. Ooh. Piecemeal says Dragoon Guy is going to go sicko mode. Main character of this, uh, this game is named Jean-Jacques Lundy. Episode clear. I love this fake language that they speak. All right, this one's got a relatively rough root switch as well um, that we got to be really careful with. Oh God. hard left over here in a second, but I still got to take out all these guys. I think I missed the route switch. Oof, yeah, I think I did. Sure did. I'm playing really poorly too. If the worms appear, then we're screwed. Yeah, we're screwed, okay. Well, we have a reset for that, for that exact reason.
Take me the right way. Okay, yes, we're on the right path now. And we're just gonna farm uh, Berserk off these things. Let's kill these things as fast as we possibly can. There we go. And we do that to screen clear basically so that we can uh so we can make sure that we have our high uh shot accuracy or, or kill count i wonder what speed runs for this game are like <laughs> i mean i'm sure i'm sure it's just about playing as good as possible and we want to farm Berserk off this by just shooting at it, even though it does no damage. All right, we beat him. Let's go. First try. Not too bad. I think the next level is going to be the hard one. Did we get what we needed? 97%. All right, sick deal. So as we see, we're actually leveling up a lot faster. We're skipping forms and such uh, when we do this because we're getting route points, which are really important. All right, episode clear. If we can get through this beginning part pretty safely, then it'll be fine. There we go. Pull up. It's the spindly, it's it's those ones in the hallways that are just so hard to hit.
hold up. There we go. Again, it's all about cursor placement. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Some like right in front of me in a second. Yep. Got him. Got it. There we go. Deftly navigating. You can leave that one. Don't even want to turn around to get that. Not going to worry about it. There we go. I'm all good. Ah, nope. That sucked. <laughs> it's okay. I have more health now than I did, so we're probably all right. There we go. Got all three. Woo! This is a hard level to clear. Alright, now that we have this much health, we can probably do it. This gives me safety if I ever, if I, when, once we get to the fishtail, which is like the, the only part of the fight that's kind of hard to do. We're also starting with more Berserk, which is good. right here it's gonna pop up good burst damage there. Damn. We did a really good job. Pop up.
I just realized that the shooting controls in this game are negative edge. Which is really interesting. So it doesn't go when you press the button, it shoots when you let go of it. Which is probably how they avoid turbo spam. All right, we did it. Woo. All right, cool. We got over 90%. That's what we needed. We missed seven enemies. That's fine. Ultimus Gamer says now for phase two. <laughs> That'll be later. Tough, tough, tough area. All right. Uh. Oh god. There we go. Alright, rest of this fight should be easy. And we could probably do perfect shell coof. I'm not too worried about it. are right down here, right? No, they're back here. And there it is. The Great Fortress, Shelkuth. Ultimate Gamer asks, what's the lore behind the balloon boss? Uh, which boss are you talking about? The fish? Uh...
All right, we're doing a lot better this time. Oh yeah, don't need to worry about that at all. Oh, ouch. All righty, hey, we did it. All right, now we're gonna wait back here and uh, just wait for the enemies to pop up. Ultimus Gamer says, yeah, the fish. So the fish, uh, the entire lore behind the boss is that it is a guardian of one of the towers, the precursor towers. It is a uh, cyber genetic uh, kind of cyber organic material that uh, protects those towers. There's like an interesting like rhythm gamey aspect to uh, shmups like this because you're you're really just trying to find the rhythm of like how to uh, how to deal with okay this thing is attacking now this thing is attacking now this thing is appearing what's the proper route across the screen it is honestly in a lot of ways like playing something like Osu. I don't care that I just believe that I, I didn't want to have to target all of them take the damage for it. It's more important that we defeat the enemies here um, in, a, in a decent order uh, than it is we, we preserve uh, Berserk, which we can't even use for the boss fight, so. All right, and the boss fight should be next, I think. I don't think we have anything else to fight. And we have enough health for this because he, he can't really hurt us. The only reason why we farm uh, Berserk for this fight is in case there's an attack that we can't avoid. And we just, we, we use it to invulnerability frame through it. But uh, otherwise this is really just uh, a fight that we, we try our best to just track the enemy really well. And then blow these things up when they come to us. Oh, okay, that was not great. And this is sort of a test for the final boss, too, giving us uh, projectiles to track that while they're spinning around us. There we go. That could have been bad, but I kept my focus. All right, I think we got it. We're good. And there we go. Woof. We got all four route points. Excellent. Was that over 90%? I didn't even check. Yeah, I think it is. I did. What did I miss? What would I have missed? I don't think I missed anything. Ninety-six point seven percent. Awesome. This game's so cool.
even taking a single hit like that is, is death. suboptimal, but I'll take it. There we go. Just charge up our Berserk so we have it. And maybe we can do it this time. Doing the final boss of this is going to be real tough, too, so... We get our relaxation moment now. There's going to be the, the three that just leisurely stroll past us. Whew. Kind of a bad waste of that, but that's fine. We'll just get it, grow it back up as quickly as we can. Probably just need to be targeting like right here the whole time, no matter what. Oh. How do I get hit by the first one? Come on.
enough. Oh, it might be enough. This might be exactly what we need. Oh, it is. Ah, finally. All right, we got all 24 points. One hundred percent, not bad. Jeez, I know that level like the back of my hand now. <laughs> Jesus Christ! saved we're good solo wing time so I'll start this fight with the super strong solo wing I love this fight. This fight is so good. Is so surreal and intense and like you just you truly you lose your sense of where you are and and what is up and what is down it's so cool and disorienting and it's just so awesome <laughs> It really feels like a frenzied fight where this thing is trying to like survive against you and like just truly is flying uh, just to like escape, right? Like it's so cool. It's so frantic and desperate. So sometimes I'm moving my camera angle to lock my position so that I don't get cross cut by the the damage that it does. Because remember, I fly towards where I'm aiming, and if you fly directly behind this guy, his uh, his uh, jet stream will hurt you. Like that. <laughs> exactly like that. <laughs> and we did it. First try, baby. Oh.
And that's Panzer Dragoon's Vi. Oh, made me sweat a little bit. This game kicks ass. So now we get the true ending of this game, which is slightly different than the other one. Weirdly, shorter. in this mysterious crest. All right, uh, we did it. We finished Panzer Dragoon's Vi. Uh, this covers pretty much everything in this game. Uh, I did my absolute best here to, to make it viewable and, and to make the commentary good, so hopefully you all had fun with that. Uh, I love this game. I think this game is so fucking cool. This game kicks so much ass. Like, truly, this game is so sick. Like, so unbelievably sick. So, thanks for watching that. Um, I definitely intend on playing... Uh, playing uh, uh, Panzer Dragoon Saga next sometime. Um, that is literally my favorite JRPG of all time. Um, it, it, it was, it's so interesting what that game does and what that game did in a, uh, in an industry that was basically completely against it. Like uh, that game had everything stacked against it there's a really great write-up about it on uh, on Polygon, and then I think on some other site, an oral history of that game. I can't remember the name of the other site. Uh, the Ringer, maybe? Is that the right one? I don't know. You can search it up in oral history of, of Panzer Dragoon Saga. There's been tons of think pieces about that game and why it's been forgotten by time and, and sort of what happened. But, uh, yeah, really intriguing. Um, really intriguing game. Um, just lovely stuff. And this game, I think there's so much love behind it, so much clear, like, uh, artistic and creative, um, creative intent. So, that's pretty cool. Um, it's just, it's, it's one of a kind. This, these games have such flavor, and it is really unique flavor. So... Uh, I'm really excited to explore the rest of the games uh, with all of you. Um, there's really only two more of them left. There's Panzer Dragoon Saga, which again is a about it's about a 15, 20 hour, maybe 30 hour if we take into account streamer time uh, JRPG. It's I doubt it's 30 hours. It's probably like 22, probably 22 with me going slow. Um, I've played that game before. I know where everything in it is. Um, it's not particularly hard either, so uh, it's pretty quick. Uh, and then, um, and then, yeah, uh, there's there's Panther Dragoon Orda, which is a very interesting game, but we need to wait until it come until we get to that point to even talk about it because it's very, it, it's an end point and a reset kind of for the series. A very interesting, weird project that exists. So. <laughs> I am looking forward to doing that all with you. So thanks for watching me play Panther Dragoon Spy.